Hey, this is Max. Uh, this is my third from video for the term, and uh, tonight I'll be talking about a song called All the Things You Are. It's a uh, instrumental rendition by Joe Pass, in a, an incredible jazz guitarist who uh, passed away fairly recently, but uh, a very influential jazz guitarist of the, the 20th century. And, um, yeah, basically, <clears throat> this song, like I said, it's entirely instrumental, um, but it still, it still speaks to me um, very deeply because of uh, the complexity of the song, for one thing, the complexity of um, the, the level, the great level of musicianship that um, these three players have. There's Joe Pass, and then there's a bassist and a drummer. I'm not sure who they are, but they're very good as well. Um, but yeah, um, let you take a listen. It's called All the Things You Are by Joe Pass. But, um, anyway, keep talking a little bit more, um, I guess choosing this song, um, I, I'll be speaking more for the entire genre of, of jazz, which has many subgenres within itself, like cool jazz, free jazz, bop, bebop, I mean, there's, there's many different styles of jazz, but, um, one thing that combines all these different styles of jazz is, is mainly the idea of improvisation. And um, I think I've always been very drawn to jazz specifically because improv improvisation is basically a necessity in any any jazz style, except for like a you know big band chart. But um, I don't know that the idea of, of creating a melody on the spot with your with an instrument is. It's, it's incredible, and listening to um, these really experienced jazz players like Joe Pass, um, it's it's inspiring because these guys have so much experience under their belts. They've, you can really see that the hard work that they put in through the years and all the, the things they've learned about the instrument and all the music theory that they've got to know to be able to solo like they do, like this. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, it's just jazz is a very expressive art form, whereas, you know, you, you listen to classical music, and, um, you know, you have the idea of a, a song that's written down, and there's no room for improvisation, for the most part, I mean, um, maybe some contemporary stuff, but, but in older compositions, you know, it's, it's just, you know, play what's written down, and, uh, you know, maybe do some expressive stuff like, you know, hold a note a little bit longer or whatever, like, whatever. But jazz is entirely different in the sense that you just, you have entire sections where, you know, you just have a band backing you up and you just, you just play over it. And it's, um, you know, it's basically speaking how you feel through the instrument. It's uh, it's pretty cool to play over the, the different chords and stuff and create a, a melody. And I mean, I remember when I first was able to uh, do somewhat of a solo over like a, a basic chord progression, I was just so excited because I thought, you know, now I have the ability to express myself um, through guitar and improvise and create something that's entirely my own. Um, entirely mine, and listening to Joe Pass play really is quite incredible because you hear some he creates stuff that's entirely his own, but it's just the most incredible on the spot composing, and it it's really it's really pretty beautiful. So um, yeah, if you get the chance, check out some more Joe Pass. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you've heard. But uh. Yeah, again, it's called All the Things You Are by Joe Pass.